step to Christ, the privilege of prayer. God does not mean that any of us should become hermits or monks and retire from the world in order to devote ourselves to acts of worship. The life must be like Christ's life between the mountain and the multitude. He who does nothing but pray will soon cease to pray, or his prayers will become a formal routine. When men take themselves out of social life, away from the sphere of Christian duty and the cross-bearing, when they cease to work earnestly for the Master, who worked earnestly for them, they lose the subject matter of prayer and have no incentive to devotion. Their prayers become personal and selfish. They cannot pray in regard to the wants of humanity or the upbuilding of Christ's kingdom, pleading for strength wherewith to work. We sustain a loss when we neglect the privilege of associating together to strengthen and encourage one another in the service of God. The truth of His Word lose their vividness and importance in our minds. Our hearts cease to be enlightened and aroused by the sanctifying influence, and we decline in spirituality. In our association as Christians, we lose much by lack of sympathy with one another. He who shuts himself up to himself is not feeling the position that God designed he should. The proper cultivation of the social elements in our nature brings us into sympathy with others and is a means of development and strength to us in the service of God. If Christians would associate together, speaking to each other of the love of God and of the precious truth of redemption, their own hearts would be refreshed and they would refresh one another. We may be daily learning more of our Heavenly Father, gaining a fresh experience of His grace, then we shall desire to speak of His love, and as we do this, our own hearts will be warmed and encouraged. If we thought and talk more of Jesus and less of self, we should have far more of His presence. Step to Christ, page 101.